So we're here on the podcast, roundtable conversation. Everybody wants to go around. Why are you so smiley? Am I not supposed to be smiling? I know, you look nervous now. Is that what we just did, did now? Stop smiling. <laughs> stop smiling, Melina. Did we just, did we just make her nervous? I think so, but she she eases up. I think she, she's good. She's good. She don't like this now, right? She knows she has no a, a, a beautiful <laughs> smile. Yeah, she has to show it. She's so uncomfortable. That's what I think. Stop. So uncomfortable. Yeah, now you're making me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we're gonna go around. Starting this way, everybody knows the host. I'm Rory, my man. YCV. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's YCV. That's it, YCV. Okay. <laughs> I'm Monica. Yes. I'm Melina. And where are you guys from? Toronto. Toronto. We're sisters. If you can tell. <laughs> they're I asked them where they're from and they didn't even address their podcast. <laughs> uh, we're from Toronto and we have a podcast. The girls, girls Next, next door. door. Yeah. Um, Little introduction. Go. Yeah. <laughs> That's your introduction? My goodness. So you know why we're here. We're here to what, talk about dating, we... relationships, um, all that good stuff. All right. So let's start yeah. it off. Uh, what does dating mean for you? Dating. So, <laughs> <laughs> look, just oh look my at gosh. their faces. <laughs> no, so dating. I think it's um, it's something that needs something beautiful that needs to be taken serious. Uh, for me, dating is not something that you just do just for fun. Mm-hmm. It's something that if you date someone, then you're looking towards building a future with a person. Mm-hmm. So that for me, it's uh, it's it's investing into your future when you date. Sure. Let's say it like that. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Honestly, going along with what Vincenzo said, for me personally, um, I don't date for fun. I date to marry. So when I am in a relationship, it is like someone I see myself in the future, like spending the rest of my life with having a family and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think our generation definitely has used the word dating a little bit yeah. differently. Like, when we talk to our mom about, like, dating, it's like, okay. Like, obviously, I think you guys have just, like, took on dating as in, like, what or how our parents see dating. Mm-hmm. As in, like, you're with one person, you're building something, yeah. you want a relationship with, like, you're going to get married, that's your future goal. I think dating now Nowadays. and, like, situationships have been, like, I'm dating around, like, I'm figuring out what I like. Mm-hmm. So I could be dating multiple different people. People just don't like to use the word dating. They say yeah. I'm talking. Yeah. So I think the word dating the and word. talking <laughs> is literally the same thing because people will do the most in a talking they stage. They do the relationship stuff. You're doing everything in a re- like as if you were in a relationship, but you're not, and people are entertaining seven other people at the same time. So, so tell me what they, when you say ta- like doing things, be a little bit more specific on that. Like talking, like... Like casual know. sex, maybe. Yeah, definitely. Like sure. casual probably sex, casual yeah. sex. Um, I, just like and, and from a girl's perspective, stuff. like good morning, good night texts, going out on things, dates. Yes, like taking you out on dates. Yeah. Whether they're extravagant, extravagant dates or not, like yeah. that's on the table. Um, Even like out of pocket comments that you would never make to someone you're not dating, like, like or didn't want to like see a future. Yeah. With. You know what I mean, like. Uh, this is gonna like, be for like example, exposing ourselves. Yeah, like <laughs> ga- when guys, no, we, we a guy will be like, though. "Oh, I, I can't wait to meet your family," and then the next day ghost you. So it's like, what? Yeah, that's crazy. But we're so not what? here to expose. It's just wholesome, <laughs> yeah, no. healthy conversation. Mm-hmm. Why you feel like you need to expose on the podcast? No, no. We, no. we expose ourselves all the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Our podcast, yeah. What y'all be doing? I can't watch y'all on Instagram, so I know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are always out and about doing your thing, yeah. Yeah. all that good stuff. We gonna we gonna get we gonna get into it because you know the vibe, right? But you speak a lot of, we're in a big city. I come from a smaller city. Mm-hmm. Do you think a bigger city has commitment issues commitment from your point of view? Or what do y'all think? Do you think it's from a smaller city? I think so. Because, well, I come from even a smaller town probably than yours. So it's really hard to, like, entertain multiple people at the same time. Mm-hmm. Since the, um, Medina was saying. Um, just because when you go and do something else with someone else, everybody will know. So it's either you're really good at hiding it or you just mm-hmm. like don't waste your time because it's lots of energy wasting. So you just say, you know what, if I, if I go talk to someone else, we'll be from another town. So you can't just play around the same town. That's my opinion. So here being a big city in Toronto, it's like you can do whatever you want because nobody's going to know. If I talk yeah. from someone from Toronto yeah. and then I go talk to someone else in Brampton, then how are they going to know each other? You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially with my city because it's like population of what, 400 
thousand, five hundred thousand people. Mm-hmm. So it's like everybody knows each other when we go out, right? And there's a couple hot spots that we go to and stuff like that. So yeah. if you were talking to one person, you see them out, they're like obligated to be like ducking and dodging yeah, if yeah. you're talking mm-hmm. to another dude or vice versa. You know what yeah. I mean? I don't so know. It gets, I feel like word travels fast. Like people know shit in Toronto too. You think so? Yeah. I, yeah, but. Well, we all, we all, we all, are, we have respective things that we do. Yeah. Y'all are podcasters, influencers. Mm-hmm. Got a little mm-hmm. model gig going on over there too, right? You're a musician and whatnot. So I get it. So when you say word travels fast, like what do, what do you mean by that? Like, well, social media, people yeah. talk. Like, you, I don't know. Like, you sometimes, like, we'll be out and, like, somebody will, like, know who we are, but we don't know who they are. And it's just like, well, what have you heard then? Like, you know what I mean? Just, like, I feel like regardless, people love to talk. People love gossip. People love... It's entertainment. So, like, small city, big city. I just think it's just on a different scale. But I, yeah. Do you all think it's because, like, how you guys are active on social media outside of the podcast? Maybe. You guys post a lot, things like that, Mm -hmm. right? You're you're posting, sorry, the latest brands that you're wearing and things Mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. So you think people have, like, their own preconceived notions? Oh, 100%. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. I also think it ties um, ties with the fact that, like, that's why there is so many trust issues. That's mm-hmm. why so many, like, I feel like lots of people use this excuse. Some may not, but most people I know that say, oh, no, I don't put my stuff on Instagram. Or, yeah, we're dating, but I don't put your picture and me mm-hmm. together on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Just because then, just like, word, word travels fast. Mm-hmm. If yeah. they see a story with someone else, like, oh, this guy had this girl on his story, and then now you're talking to someone else. Yeah. That's how word travels fast. So I think that yeah. the trust issues that we were talking about before... Is because of this reason. Because now, if people want to entertain and yeah. talk to multiple people, then it's it's that's why you don't show anything on your story. I agree. Yeah. With that. You know what I mean, yeah. 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 I feel like you have more to want to say. I was just gonna say, like it was social media, um, right, so. like mm-hmm. national or like relationship oh. day on August first, and you're like, oh, whoa, you have oh, a yeah. girlfriend, you <laughs> have yeah, a girl, you have a girlfriend, and you have a girlfriend, and that's yeah. crazy. You were liking my story yesterday, but yeah. But yeah. Social media also plays such a big pressure now I feel mm-hmm. when I was dating for example here in Canada because in Italy it's not that it's not like that it's completely different I was telling them mm-hmm. in the other podcast um, I like to do comparisons right so what I noticed here is, is when I was dating you don't know when to start posting the first picture you don't know mm-hmm. when to start posting on their story uh, you have to just make sure your partner is okay with you posting on your story and saying oh uh, I love you so much or mm-hmm branch with et cetera, right? So I think like social media is also a big, big factor for dating and like yeah. just confuse you. Like you, have to, you need to know what page you're at, which is kind of weird because if you're with someone, then usually you are at the same page. That's why you're with that person. Yeah. I think so dating just became more like hard to make. I makes feel. sense. Yeah. The trust issues with like social media nowadays, it's... yeah a lot more present because back in the day like even when our mom told us stories about like going out and meeting people they didn't have the phones like yeah. you went out to a bar you talked to him and then he would phone you the on phone. the little house phone and you guys would talk in Italy, you go to, under the girl's uh, balcony and you get, like, start playing guitar <laughs> and you get people like it seems just different bro <laughs> it's so, like a movie you know yeah. I mean? imagine me coming from yeah. that to like this where like Hey, like you look good in a bikini, yeah. right? <laughs> literally, not, right? literally, you know what I mean. Like, I'll be honest, yeah. I, I don't do that. Me, my yeah. biggest it's fear, it's too the biggest yeah. fear is a screenshot capture, and then you end up in another. Yo, guys, what's going on? I appreciate you. Thank you. Turn on all bell notifications. Subscribe, like, and comment to the podcast. It's the best way to stay up to date. And hey, it helps us gain the clarity and boost ourselves into that algorithm. We appreciate the support each and every day, each and every week. Let's keep on going to keep on growing. Peace. For group chat. Yeah. Look at this guy. You know, <laughs> look at roll, this guy. He's wanting to the reach out to me. <laughs> yeah. Right? It's ridiculous yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. Nowadays, I just feel like there's so many like options. So that's why like the social the, media yeah. makes cheating easy. Yeah. hundred percent. You, you like, want to elaborate on that? Well, first of all, like liking a girl's story, you would never only know. she knows that. So like if we are dating and... I go like your story. You're the only person that knows that. He'll yeah. never find that out. But you like liked my that, story the other day. There's no issue. Yeah, but okay, I'm just saying, if yeah. I, you're in a relationship and my boyfriend Likes. is liking 
every other girl's story of her in a bikini. Like that, I think is disrespectful. Yeah, I think that's because bad. now you put it in the girl's head that like she has one up or she, your man is entertaining my stories. Like, why is that? Also, mm-hmm. you're only liking a story like in that scenario. You're like only liking what? a story for her to realize it. Like, like for what? Yeah, she's the only person that can see it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so why are you like when somebody for likes hours? How are you gonna know you like? Yeah. The so you story? think that's a new way to shoot your shot for men or women? Oh, a hundred percent. Men. I mean, even girls liking guys' stories. Yeah, like, is like, we're trying to like. It depends on like. I think a it's scenario. peaking interest. It's yeah. like oh, like I I see you. I have a yeah. question. When a girl likes a guy's story, mm-hmm. do you think that's the way girls like to flirt with guys? I think okay. she's opening up the yeah. window for you to DM her. Yeah. Oh, really? She's yeah. opening up the window. Yeah. Yes. The door, whatever. See, I got a different take. I got to go check my story. Huh? 100%. <laughs> if, but, and if a girl is liking your story, she's... She's not doing it for, for, yeah, for no she's reason. She's doing it for a reason. She so wants why you not to see like it. the story and then shoot a message? Well, because sometimes girls don't like putting the first I'll moves shoot in. a message, I, I'll, but... I'll put a message in, yeah. yeah. But some girls don't want to... You got a message for them because I did it. <laughs> no, also, no, no. you are it's the like, guy. It's not, our, it's not our turn. Networking. <laughs> That's really no, I'm it. Joking, I'm joking. <laughs> you know what I mean? I throw <laughs> likes on the story. You don't support it. Support the no, brand. <laughs> Boost the algorithm. All that good stuff. Yeah. I'm yeah, not going to well, slide well, into DM. Yeah, but that's different. Like, like yeah. when you support someone, like, I'll like your stories too, but... There's two different ways of like, cause I, I yeah. like some of my like friends' stories, but, but like, you know it's a but friend, you know it's just like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah go going ahead. back to the conversation about who should post first, mm-hmm. isn't it always the woman that should announce that she's in a relationship? I mean, or should why? it be vice versa? Why would why should it be the girl first? Why should it be the girl? Just because traditional. Uh, traditional. So I there's think so many things that guys do first, so. Yeah, like, like you what? expect us to get down on one knee and <laughs> <laughs> take you out and pay for dates. The bare minimum. That's the bare minimum. Maybe yeah. VIP service, inside yeah. joke. The yeah. bare minimum. The bare minimum. Bare minimum. <laughs> exactly. What episode was that again? <laughs> bare minimum. Bare yeah, minimum we versus princess it. treatment. The <laughs> bare minimum. Um, see, I just feel I like, don't think... like looking at something like that, like if I'm with somebody and yeah. I'm in a committed relationship and I genuinely love this person, like I don't even think that should be like a, a question, topic yeah. that we need to discuss. Like I want to show you off, you want to show me off. Let's that collaborate too. on an IG post. <laughs> I'll do all the work. It'll show up on your feed. Yeah. Jeez. Got to put Value out. right there. Also, also, y'all, y'all, y'all listen to that. <laughs> listen to what she just said. Also, do guys not like showing off their girlfriends? We had this talk the other day with a guest, and yeah. she said that she doesn't want, like, a pretty man because she doesn't want other girls finding her man attractive. But I was like, That's, if no one finds your man attractive, then, then like, like, why I would you want him? To her, I was like... When I walk in a room with my man, like, like I want every girl to be like, fuck, like, like you want other people to, to like, want your man, see that your person is desirable. Right. No. For but me, is no, that, but is like, that for you guys you look, as well? Like, do you no. not want? No, I don't. I do not. <sighs> There's so many things I want to say. So you want to walk into a room yeah. with a girl I and no one's want, like, I don't want no one cares. Well, because again, this is just me. Yeah. I don't want my woman, my preference is I don't want my woman to be so provocative that mm-hmm. guys look at her and be like, oh, fuck. Like, okay, but that doesn't have to do yeah, with what well, she's wearing. If she's just no, 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 a, no, but you like, just, you just be a beautiful girl. hundred yeah. percent. But then when guys look at someone, in my perspective is when some, when a guys, a group of guys look at someone, there's a difference when you say, holy fuck, she's so hot, bro. And like, oh my God, she's gorgeous. Yeah, but I said mm-hmm. desirable. I didn't yeah. say desirable, but walk usually, into a room and so how, she's so hot. How do you describe a guy that comes in and like is really like attractive? What's your idea when a really guy comes in and is attractive? Dressed well. Dressed well, tall, yeah. tattoos. Well, no, well, well maintained. Not, well, like yeah. I'm just saying general. And it doesn't I have to be you, right? Also, like the way a man comes into yeah. a room speaks yeah. to volumes Confidence. about himself. Confidence. Is he on his phone, head down? Yeah. Can he come in and conversate with people around him? Mm-hmm. Like that's like a that, big one. Yeah. If you're shy in the off to the court, like that's not a guy for me. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And like I want like lead the way, introduce me to everybody in the room. Mm-hmm. Like those are things. Like, yeah. But that's like being the partner. So let's say like it's a girl coming in with her men, and you find like you, like the desire. Mm-hmm. What's your mm-hmm. type of like the desire? Like what do you see? 
Wait, wait, wait. Like, like you come in. Sorry, I just, I just passed my second test of English. So, <laughs> so <laughs> no, you're doing good, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're doing good. So, like, me. let's say you're, you're in a room, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you're, we're here. Okay. And uh, we're having a party, whatever. And then people are coming in. And then this girl comes in with her boyfriend. boyfriend yeah. And then, like you said before, like, you want the guy that you're going in to be the party yeah. with to be I like mean. desirable. So you look at this oh, guy so that she what brought, would make him what would it be desirable? like? The way he's, he's treating yeah. her again. again if, oh, is the way if, he treats her that well, like, makes from you... From an outside perspective, yeah. right? I don't, if I don't know them, but the way they're carrying themselves across the room mm -hmm. is if he doesn't know anybody, is he able to have a conversation with people? Can mm -hmm. she go off and do her own thing? And like, he's okay, okay. still having a good time. Like, yeah. Enjoying good the people, like everybody's company. So I that think. makes you like want to say, oh, I... I yeah, really love, somebody like, that, that can like have boyfriend. fun. Like, like um, when you're with your friends, mm -hmm. and let's say that he brings his new girlfriend in, and she's like just bad vibes. Like you're like, yeah. she can't hang, can't okay. have a good time. Like to me, that like speaks a lot about somebody's character. Uh, I was I was basing off like um, like physical attraction. Oh, exactly. yeah, that's why what I was saying. Like I thought you meant like when you go in the room and you, everybody looks at your man because he's so hot. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, that would help. Yeah. I'm That's not going to fucking complain. Okay, so. yeah. if, I, I think what, if I, I could build him. I think what he's saying, it's more having a virtuous woman. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I think, not to throw people underneath the rug that are listening or watching this, it's like some women, they walk into a place and they may be a little bit more out there with their way they're dressing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Like, they're not as virtuous and things like nah, that. they're more pro provocative. And it's, so it's guys will dress, gawk and yeah. stare and be like, oh, mm -hmm. that's what you're dealing right. with. You know what I mean? Yeah, Versus yeah. like, Which I hi, nice to meet you, yeah. things like yeah. that, right? I don't know. I still don't feel... Like, I, I think a girl can dress as revealing as she wants and still have... In a relationship? I think, I think in, a relationship. in a relationship, it in depends, relationship, it depends like yeah. what they agree on. In a relationship? Yeah. yeah. I mean, not really what they agree on. A woman can wear whatever she wants and a ma this the is man where, like, can wear gonna, whatever she disagree. wants. No, if no, I'm no. in a relationship and a man's telling me how to dress, then no. it ain't going to last. But Why? why? Right. Uh, wait, 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 what is the problem if, if, if I'm wearing a, guy, a hot outfit and I'm beside you? you, you I'm there coming you home with you. So no, what's nothing wrong with that. But I'm saying like, there's a certain way to carry yourself. I would never tell my girl how to Say, for instance, how to dress, uh -huh. but I think there's a, a level to it where you're dressed. Like, you guys are in, mm -hmm. I don't know what the brand is. I could probably uh, guess. Aritzia. I'm pretty, of course, you Shout out to Aritzia. Cut the check. Shout out to Aritzia. Right? For the Girls Next Door podcast <laughs> and whatnot. But because it looks like the brand that I work with, but we don't say that because, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Flags so, on okay. the play. Okay. Um, but it's not revealing. It's a slit on the side, right? It mm -hmm. is what it is. But then there's some women that would wear like something that's like, to their quads. When they right. sit down, they're always pulling it down. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, I think there has to be a little bit of decorum with like representation. Yeah. I mean, you know I, think what I, mean? It, I think it depends on the event, obviously. Yeah. Fair. If, if you're going out to a little nightclub and I mean, there's other girls wearing <laughs> short little dresses. I'm going to think... put on my little dress. Yeah. I think it's just, the, it's not even about the clothes. It's how you wear it. Like yeah. you said, yeah. if she's sitting there like fidgeting the whole time, like yeah. she's uncomfortable. Absolutely. If you're sitting there like chest proud, like I'm doing my shit, like yeah. I, I think it comes yeah. off different yeah, in sure. my opinion. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. I don't think there is a, I don't think there is a right or wrong. Like again, there is no problem no. with the girl revealing herself or going mm -hmm. out. That what I was trying to say before is it depends when you get into a relationship. Like mm -hmm. I said, like you don't like when a guy tells you what to wear. So you have yeah. to be with a guy that doesn't tell you what yeah. to wear. Yeah, exactly. You cannot be with a guy that tells you, you know, I don't feel comfortable that you wear that. But mm -hmm. because just like you, you feel like that's, it's like when you're in the right, it can yeah. be on the other side, I feel, right? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. there's some guys that like, like to say to their woman, like, you know, I feel more comfortable if you wear this because this is a I classy just, party. I personally think that's insecure men, but. It could be, it could be, let's say, insecure men. Yeah. But then Telling there's those girls girl that change. like when the guy tells them, what to wear and or, mm -hmm. or what not because they like that alpha male idea. Mm -hmm. So there's no right or wrong is what's yeah, no. best for you, yeah. I believe, right? I agree. So. Yeah. Would you tell your guy what to wear? Hell no. If he dress a certain way? If he dressed bad? Like, if he dressed say sporty. Ugly, like, say he's I'd a very like, sporty person dressed sporty. I mean, I mean, I think it's different because yeah. like, a guy can't really dress like super like revealing. Yeah. yeah. Like at most of the time, unless you're at the beach. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. What I mean? Um, if you dressed poorly, we'd be taking a trip to the mall for sure. Yeah. What's the first brand you take? Are you to? buying? Like my ex-boyfriend, I revamped his entire closet. <laughs> yes, you did. Like, revamped. Zara. Yes. Zara. Damn. Everything had to. Zara. Zara. Was he like a Were skateboarder? You <laughs> I was there. Uh, <laughs> no, he was a hockey player. A hockey player. Yeah. He's sporty. Yeah. 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 But just like even just like your day-to-day -day wear, like I don't know, Fair. it's not that hard for a guy. Like 
You guys look great. Like, yeah. it's not that hard. You're a little dressy. You're more dressed up. I'm more sporty. That's I've always stayed sporty. But like, if like, I flip the script, like, people are yeah. like, like clean shoes. Yeah. That's a big one. There we go. For a boy, After. like, if dirty sneakers, uh uh-uh. uh. work the, wasn't the, maintaining the sneakers. The Air Force Ones on that you right? just. No. I have so many like mm. products at home to clean shoes, right? bro. You have no you know what I'm I have the spray. Brush and a brush and soap and. You gotta scrub that, you know. Bro, I have like particular. Yeah. I have a spray like protects like, uh, and then you have to spray it twice, uh, one For time, sure. and then every two months, it's, like, it's a sport. Hundred percent. Sure. Mm-hmm. Is there anything you wanna? No. I, don't I feel like you're so. cooking up something up in here. <laughs> no, I just think, like just if we're circling back, like I just think, why wouldn't you want? I'm not saying like, like the way it came across, like. Oh, like a, your girl walks in, like a guy's like, "Fuck, I want to sleep with her." I'm not yeah, saying. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, like, it's not in that way. Like that though. Yeah, yeah, and well. that, that's what I mean. Like men, regardless, like whether she's in a loose dress or a fitting dress, I think, like the persona of the woman, how she, confident she is, how mm-hmm. she carries herself, will speak volumes. Like mm-hmm. this, like sometimes, like the not a very attractive person walks in the room, but men are still all over her. Right. Do you yeah. know what I mean? They so think it's, it's an like, easy catch. Okay, maybe. Oh. Yeah. That's what they think, right? <laughs> you know what I always say? So me going to the business of, uh, of music, obviously, like, when you go look at, like, this top artist, they're always with models. They're always with, like, marrying other, maybe another artist or Nicki Minaj or stuff like that, mm-hmm. right? I always say that when I do make it up there, I'm going to go back to my town <laughs> and just get, like, someone that no one knows. Uh-huh. <laughs> just, like, someone, like... That's 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 what I think I'm gonna do. Like I don't want to date no right models. Now. No, I just want to go back. Like pretend like I'm a no one, and like just go there. Be like, hi, my name is Vincent. So, uh, mm. and then okay, and then you, bring her here. You see that though with people of like credibility, they date not someone that's that attractive. You know what I mean? Mm. They tend to like date down a little bit. They're not really dating like the nines or tens of what some people would call. You know, like you saying there's people that do. Oh that? yeah, a lot of yeah. celebrities do that for sure, for sure. She's not the most attractive person. How do y'all feel about that, women? Dating down? Yeah. Dating down? Honestly. Because you guys date up. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. You don't date down. Um, no. I mean, as a woman, I don't think any girl should ever date down. Why? Okay. Well, you just said, like, mm-hmm. you alpha male, like, you know, somebody that, like, takes care of you. If, if mm-hmm. I'm making blank amount of dollars, why am I going to date somebody that's Making less than that. Damn. Wow. Okay. She just said you? it just like that. I mean, eh? <laughs> She's confident. That's yeah. what she she knows is. what she wants. That's what every girl is thinking, though. And the girls that are dating down. So it's a money thing for you? And I'm not, I'm just saying, like. It's a question. It's a question. Yeah, no. I mean, if, it is one of the things, it's not everything. Um, but I, it is definitely one of the things. I'm, I'm, I will yeah, say I was like a summarized with way. With my like, chest, yeah. There's just ways to... to yeah, so. I don't think there's like a set amount that like a man has to be making to like... No. But I think just like a guy that has like a good head on his shoulder and like has a stable job and, you know, can provide mm-hmm. is what like... Would you guys date another podcast or influencer or is that you think that's yeah. too yeah. much? No. No. What if you make more like... Like, let's say you're that's on 1 fine. million subs and he's like 800,000. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Isn't that digging down? Like, let's say in your podcast is more successful than his. See what he just did there. Uh, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say dating down in like that way. Yeah, no. Because we're talking think, about success. We're not talking about money. We're yeah. talking about success, right? Success. Success. Like, mm-hmm. he's doing the same thing as you, but like you, like you're more success, successful than him in that way. So we're talking about dating down as in like he's less successful. Well, because she said the the example of money, but she didn't mean actual money. She just made an example Mm -hmm. of success. So I'm doing a success kind of example with podcast. Like, would you date someone that does the exact same? Two brothers, yeah, they're doing this, but But they have like half of your subscribers. Yeah, I would date them, no problem. I don't think that's it's dating down. Like they're yeah, I don't consider that dating down. They're putting in the work if. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I think it's dating down. You think it's dating down? Well, because it's dating down. Well, if. Let's say they're, we're talking about like a huge podcast, right? And they, they have the luxury life thanks to their podcast. They have Lamborghini and everything. <laughs> and he has another mm-hmm. podcast, which is really successful. But instead of a Lambo, he can afford like, let's say a Mercedes. Mm-hmm. But you still date him. I would, yeah. Okay, so I think I, it would just it's a way. person. Yeah, I, I don't know. She's fiery though when she's ready, yeah? 
That's why. That's why I, I like fiery. the way they, she knows. They she wants to say what she wants to say. Don't hold back. Seriously. I'm not holding back. I'm <laughs> just genuinely thinking about it. Um, yeah. So like if you're saying podcast, like I'm super like, successful, then yeah. I would probably. But I just, I just don't think like unless it happened organically and like whatever, I really hit it off with this guy. Mm-hmm. I just don't think that like it would even like be on my radar. Like I just feel like I would want a successful another mm-hmm. like a, a successful man in front of me with me by my side. Someone that like strives to like, yeah. success. Okay, yeah. that's good, yeah. Probably um, means you like you're in a relationship, but you're dating other people. Uh, oh, so right. an open, so it's really open, open, open relationship. Okay. Another form for open relationship. Do you think that's ruining society? Because I feel like not I to get just, too mm-hmm. controversial here, mm-hmm. I feel like that's where everybody's starting to lean towards. Yeah. In committed relationships or in marriages, yeah. but they want to bring other people in. No, I that's don't. insane. I don't understand that. I don't understand how like you would want to be in a relationship and then be okay with your partner like exploring no. and like yeah, no, that'd be a no for me. So I would never do that as well. No, I was saying no. Never. No, I think we're all on the same I'm page. Too, there. I'm too traditional for that. No, no, and that's the thing yeah, because yeah, I see yeah. it like people are going to swingers parties and things like that, and mm-hmm. I'm like, how? Because I know that when we're thinking about sex, it's a bond between two people. And there's, I feel like society has ripped the Band-Aid off where it's like, it's open to be promiscuous and do whatever you want to do. Go willy-nilly. And I think that's how people are entering the dating field now. Yeah. Go willy-nilly. Yeah, that's too like how, like when they say like, oh, when a man cheats... It's different from then from when a woman cheats. But Who you just will said, ever say that. Um, <laughs> should we pull up the clip? Um, we pull up the clip. <laughs> regardless, like I just, like I understand that like a woman would cheat with like intention, and a man just thinks with his, you know. Um, I regardless, it's still cheating. Like I don't understand how one is more justified than the other. Mm-hmm. I think women look at sex from an emotional though. Standpoint. Right, but and then men not is also the problem. Fucked up, yeah. Emotional think, with your woman, it can be a bond, a different bond with your woman, like your your rock, your girl, right? But I think that when women cheat, they have to have some sort of emotional connection to a guy, unless she's. I've said this in a like group of people, unless she's like completely broken, mm-hmm. right? She has no morals, she has no mm-hmm. ethics, you know, mm-hmm. and things like that. I mean, I, I, we, we just released, like, put out a pot, or no, it's coming out, but, like, talking yeah. about, like, I definitely do think, like, hookup culture, like, part of the, re- like, girls are part of the problem. For the like, culture. Like, women hold the key to sex, so, so we if shouldn't hookup culture is a thing, it's because women have given made that up, easier yeah. for men to get, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I, I, I'm not saying I agree or disagree, I'm just mm-hmm. saying I think both dating is just, yeah, <laughs> fucked up. Maybe. Yeah, it's definitely changing every single day. Like, there's always something new out there. There's always a different way. Yeah. So how does that change? How do you think, how do us change? I feel like we all have the same similar views in this yeah. room. Mm-hmm. Well, but how issue- do we change that? Like, how do we change, like... Delete social media. <laughs> Delete social media. <laughs> if I honestly, like, I hate so. I, I'm the one that is supposed to be on social media 24-7. Yeah. And supposed to story everything that I do during the day. I hate it. Mm-hmm. Just because, like, especially in a relationship, it gets messy from personal experience. Yeah. Like, again, like, from what I said before, like, the posting this and that, where are you going? Uh, and, oh, you like this girl's uh, uh, picture. Oh, okay, but you post uh, bikini pictures. Mm-hmm. Like, like, stuff, like, everything. Oh, so no, just in general, it's, I, it's, we, I think guys go through it also, too, mm-hmm. yeah. with having a podcast. Yeah. You know how many people I've dated, and I mean committed relationships, mm-hmm. and they, they get so insecure... You say, oh, yo, I'm going up to the city or I have this person coming on. I have that person coming mm-hmm. on. And then they listen with the intent to have talking points built off of. Yeah. Well, the dynamic seems like you guys were like getting real friendly in there. It's like, well, wait, what? Yeah, and it, yeah. Like, it's why it's messy. It like, makes no sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. If, if, if I was talking I like, think... if I was talking to someone and mm-hmm. I, I had them on my, on my music video. If I was talking to someone at the point at the at the time, like we were like hugging, like because yeah. it was the point of the music video. Yeah. If I had a girlfriend, I'd be like, oh, why are you touching them? Why are you yeah. saying uh, this, this, and that? Yeah. Why are you? Uh, I saw them hugging. Yeah. Like I'm just doing it's my job. Business. It's business. Yeah. It's you know business. I mean? It's only yeah. when it crosses think, the line when it gets to an issue. Yeah, I think, I think girls. Yeah, girls should. I think we will. We talked about this on our pod. We said to cancel like the <laughs> hookup culture. Us girls. 
we should hold ourselves like a little bit more higher and make it like a little harder for guys to get what they want. When you are talking to a guy, don't sleep with him right away. Talk to him for three months, figure out if you even like this guy, figure out if they're, keep talking to your whatever. If you're talking (laughs) to five guys, talk to all five of them. After that three months, if you figure out which one you actually like, okay, cool. And this way, so us girls don't get our feelings hurt because you guys get the sex. We have sex, get our emotions yeah. involved, and then you guys fucking dip. Yeah. So yeah, we go crazy and everything goes <laughs> through our fucking head. So girls need problem, to hold themselves a little bit more accountable. You know, accountable. But I think the problem with it, like when you brought up social media, yeah. I think social media, social media makes people's insecurities come up. Mm. And now people, so people, I think are in relationships, everybody's just insecure as fuck. I think that's yeah. what the problem is. You're insecure and you're, there's so many ways to cheat on social media that like, that's why. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you want to rebuttal what she said though? <laughs> We're going to get to that By in a means. second. Um, I first like, I don't think sleeping right away, it's a bad thing. Mm-hmm. I'm, gonna I'm start- just saying, you're saying that because you're a guy. No, I'm not saying that because I'm a guy. Girls is get attached easily. 100%. But I'm not saying that because I'm a guy. I'm saying that because my past relationship was sleeping right away. Yeah. So a guy, just because he sleeps with you right away, doesn't mean they just want to sleep no. with you and that's it. No, right? I'm, I'm not saying that. Like, again, like, let's say me and maybe my past relationship, I didn't sleep with them right away. Mm-hmm. I would have probably, like, who knows? A wrong word before sleeping together, before she yeah. got emotionally attached, I would have never dated them. Mm-hmm. You know, like, a relationship could go by yeah, that. So it can. I don't think that. I just think it's the way you, you, you get signals. You need to have the conversation of like making, like for women, can mm-hmm. I make it clear? Listen, well, I'm going out with you yeah. and I'm just going out with you. I don't usually go out with guys. Mm-hmm. So I think that's where the problem in hookup culture is and how to cancel it, in mm-hmm. my opinion. Like if there is a, a girl that goes and talks to so many guys, mm-hmm. since you said that girls hold the key, uh, to sex, to re- even they yeah. the key even to talk to a guy. If they don't want to talk to a guy, they just brush you off with yeah. the rudest Excuses. way. Excuses. By rudest Excuses. ways. <laughs> like, you, guys know what I'm talking about. Like, girls, some girls just like, you ask them a question, they're like, <clears throat> roll their eyes and turn around. Facts. You know, when if it's a guy, a guy doing that, you, you will never do that to no. a dude to dude. No. And just having a conversation, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so going back to the point, um, I just like think like the, the, the thing to start is to have that conversation, say, listen, I don't go out with, with guys. I'm going with you because I don't know, like I, I kind of feel the vibe. Mm-hmm. I like the way you, you're respectful towards me. Mm-hmm. Let's go for a coffee. And then from there, like, yeah, sure. Don't sleep this the first night, the second night. But if you're giving that chance to every single guy, then I think that's where the whole cup culture starts. Mm-hmm. Like hooking up, doing this, doing that. I don't know. That's just my, my, yeah. my thought. I'm it. seeing it as in like hold off on the sleeping part because that's where the girls get attached and overly involved and then their feelings are hurt in the end so i'm saying give yourself a time frame to actually get to know this man figure out if you even like him Mm -hmm. what does he do what's his future goals like ask these questions i think it just goes back to like the conversation on like what is dating because like if you're like you're saying dating talking right like i'm i'm we're both i'm we're both single i'm single i enjoy going on dates but like if if I meet somebody and I go on a first date and I don't vibe with them, like I'm probably not going to see them again. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying, like, from that, like, okay, so I'm I'm dating. What if I go on a date with another guy and like right off the bat, like I'm vibing, good vibes. We happen to be back at his house. Like now, what? Like, am I supposed to sleep with him? Am I not? Like, what? What is the boundaries for a girl? If I sleep with him, I'm a hoe. If but I if I want to, but I can't, but I shouldn't. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's if like you sleep with him, your body count's going up, and the guy. Uh, and then he no, could. Now we're going into a whole different he conversation. Could go. He could That's ghost. A whole other topic. He could ghost me tomorrow. Like, so. But I'm single. I'm supposed to enjoy my twenties. I'm supposed to live. You, you speak a lot of volume with what you say. I like what mm-hmm. you said, but with the whole five guys. From yeah, me, no, I was just giving that as an example. No, I'm, not, no, no. I'm not saying as in like I'm saying like talking though. Like like she said, she's going on dates. Like she's not committed to any one of these mans. But isn't that setting so, up an unrealistic so expectation? Do you think this is a problem? If I go on a date with one guy, all right, it went well. We didn't sleep together. Fair. It was all kiss, right. Kiss? But it went well. Sure, we kissed. Whatever. Okay, but so that's a pre-bond. That's a yeah, pre-bond. That matters? If you're kissing? 
So, okay, so you know the difference between pre bond and pair bond? No. So, pre bond is kissing, pair bond okay. is when you sleep with him. Okay. Uh, okay. I didn't know. I just I yeah. Okay, okay, let's say I didn't kiss him for the story. Okay, didn't okay. kiss him. We went on a date, but I, I enjoyed his company. Yeah. We're still talking throughout the week. We're planning maybe another one. But another guy asks me on a date. And I'm like, oh, he's cute. So She's I go. not dating the first man. She has the right to go. So I go. So now there's there's two yes. boys on the roster. But what I'm saying, <laughs> you, <hear this, laughs> yeah. you hear this? You hear this? Yeah. I hear this TikTok ideology <laughs> roster. Yes. And I'm just saying <laughs> five as an example. I'm never talking to five guys at, at once. No, but I'm example. just saying yeah. like, I swear, he's giving me a little side eye over there. <laughs> I'm literally never talking to five guys at once. But I'm just saying like the casual dating, like you can't be like, committed to a, like she just went on for one date you're not gonna which is fine fucking yeah. but commit to this man now adding up dates right but she's trying to explore and see what she likes you see how much they defend it but then this is what i'm saying so don't do you it. learn more about what you like when you date when you go on dates what do, can you possibly l- learn when you go on dates with a guy well, talking what do you, about like when he tells you what he what he is success is for him what do you yeah. learn from that I feel like you learn more about yourself and what you like when you go into relationships. I know, you learn but what you like. You learn you're not going to just ex- dive into a relationship with a man I just went on a first date with. Understandable. No, I think, but what I wanted to say is, why not narrow the net down instead of maybe going on a variety of different dates? Well, how are you going to get... What do you mean, narrow it down? Because I think that... Mm, can I say something? Go ahead. Sorry to interrupt, but I feel like just because mm-hmm. you might ruin your chance with really meeting that guy because let's say you go out with Rory you go out first time you 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 liked how he was you guys don't kiss and then me and him we know each other but you don't know that mm-hmm. and then I ask you on a date and then I really like you too we don't kiss also and then I'm like oh Rory like oh bro how has been I mm-hmm. was London and never seen in a while you know I went out with this girl Melina bro I went out with this girl Melina too now we feel played in a sense, you know what I mean? But, ha- but played how? Played, played, uh-huh. played in a I sense, went on like, a first date this... and like I'm not talking to him anymore or I'm no, that's why. Here's conversation the thing. It's with him. Because now where the perception comes into play. There we and go. Yeah. the perception comes into play, well, wait, did she sleep with him? Exactly. And then it's like, he'll no, no, be no, saying, no, but not even that. With... Even yeah. that too, but like I'm, I'm saying more like, okay, she does this with me and you. How many guys does she go out with? <laughs> Now yeah, a girl but, can't sleep with anybody. No, a girl no. can't kiss anybody. A girl can't go on multiple dates. No, but it's even with guys. It's even with guys. It's 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 either <laughs> either way. It's a guy or a girl. I know girl, you're I believe, saying. Right? I know you're saying. It just is the credibility. Like, do you is this what you do? Do you go out with different guys or different girls? Again, it doesn't have to be with a girl. The girl can do this, can do mm-hmm. that. Like even the guy, same thing. If I go out with every single different girl, I don't kiss. I don't do anything. I just talk. Mm-hmm. What credibility can I? Do? What what importance do I give to you? I feel like if you really, if your intent to go out with the guys to date mm-hmm. and not to just have fun, is okay, you're going out to date. The date went well. Why go search for something else? That's that's the that's Why the don't thing. you I give think, that person a yeah. the chance? No, I agree you know with that what I mean? Because yeah. I think at the end of the day, like sometimes, like you already, like you know off the bat if this is that's what I mean. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I go, I go on dates and trust me, I just know the equilibrium's not yeah. even there. Yeah, I just like, think, like, I just think girls like are just feeling played because like you'll be talking to a guy for three months let's say and like and then you in cut, your head you cut off everyone else you're n- you don't have any you're other not guys. talking like yeah like okay i've been there done that talking like and then like you think you're on the same page but then you're not supposed to ask the question as a What's girl the question? what, are, what we, are we or what are we doing i think what you're are, supposed to ask that question but people say you're not people supposed say, to ask people say that. people TikTok? say if you need to ask that podcast, question podcast, yeah. i don't think people i don't think you should listen to if you need voices. to ask that question then, then you clearly know. you know it's you a know. no so i come from the school of open honest conversation i think you're okay to ask that conversation i have that conversation i have i have a, like i agree with that like i think say it you can be like what's Just be going straight on <laughs> no 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 be straight no, up I'm, it's like okay so me and, you three, me and right you three now. months okay. me and you three months in now if we get physical we get physical it is what it is right now if you were to look at me and say what are we i'm gonna give you the outline and say hey this mm-hmm. is what we are mm-hmm. yeah. you know what i mean I, I mean, think it's, some I guys think beat around the that. bush and then you gotta don't get really answer. Gotta get gone. Yeah. And there's some women that beat around the bush also too. Yeah. 100%. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It's just like, obviously, like, it, it, what I think was, because mm-hmm. we talked about that in, mm-hmm. in their, their podcast. And I, and I said, I was one of those people that said, well, if you really need to ask that question, then, like, is it, re- is it real? 
in a sense, because if I let you meet my, my parents, my family, mm -hmm. even if it's within the three months, because again, I come from a small town. If you're talking for a little bit, you're meeting the family at one point, right? Facts. If after you meet my family, my, you come to parties, you come to my brother's uh, a birthday at my house where my zio mm -hmm. and my zia, everyone's there, do you really need to ask, what are we? Obviously, right. it's obvious. You know what I mean? Guys are very subtle. I mean, subtle. for that, like, yeah. then you should clarify you're my girlfriend. Yeah, guys are I subtle, though. That are, like, guys are subtle. What do you guys... From his way, too, of saying, like, you shouldn't have to ask it, it's like, as a woman, I want to feel pursued. Yeah. So why do I have to ask you what we are? Yeah. Like, clearly, like, you're getting everything you want right now, and you don't want to make this a boyfriend-girlfriend situation exclusive. Like, to me, that proves that you are talking to other people, you're entertaining other girls, and, like, you want to keep doing that. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, yeah, realizing, yeah, we're definitely not on the same page. So it's probably best that for my own feelings, I stop doing this. Because no, now I'm overly invested in a guy that doesn't want to pursue me the way I want to be pursued. Well, going back to the, to, the, to the main point that we were talking about is I feel like the reason why I think it's wrong mm -hmm. on talking with five guys, because you're going out with one guy, you like the vibe, but then it's like, thanks to social media, because mm -hmm. it's usually how guys come and approach you mm -hmm. nowadays, unfortunately. Mm -hmm then you're trying to look where the, the, the grass is greener. Like, oh, yeah. okay, I know what this guy can do. Let me see if I can find better. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why I think... I think that's both ways. Like, yeah. It is both ways. Yeah, yeah, I'm woman and man. Like, I'm not saying just a, a particular sex. Like, I think it's both and I think it's wrong. Mm -hmm. Same thing with a guy. You're going out with a girl, you like her. Why would you go and, and go to the club the night off to go find another girl? Mm -hmm. Then you're not ready for a relationship. Don't say, don't go out with girls and waste money if yeah. you're not ready for one. What do you think about guys... Yeah. Or even girls saying like they're not ready for a relationship when you're in a talking stage with a guy or you're in a talking stage with a girl and she's saying to you, I'm not ready for a relationship, but like, let's I continue well, having fun. I'm, I'm, I'm one of them right now in the sense that like I, I say. Cook comments. Because if I go off, I'm the winner in the show. You're going after me, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> after that, you're going to go off. <laughs> no, but like uh, it's uh, in the sense when somebody says like when I say I'm not ready, mm -hmm. I'm not saying that I'm not ready <laughs> emotional. Like I, I think that's, that's total bullshit because. Yeah. When I, when at least I can talk from a guy's perspective, like my perspective, correct me if you think it's wrong, but I think when a guy says, I said before, oh, I don't, I don't mm -hmm. want to be in a relationship, the day after I meet someone and I, I, I'm in love with this person, mm -hmm. like, uh, in the sense like I, I can't wait to yeah. see them again, you're like, okay, you know what? I'm actually like, I wouldn't mind being in a relationship with this person. So I don't think there is a right or wrong time, just that mm -hmm. our, our mental, like our brain tells us that like, you know, I don't want it with you. So mm -hmm. I just think I'm not ready. Mm -hmm. But when I say this because I want a certain thing, like some guys like me want to build their future first yeah. and say, I don't have time for a relationship because a relationship takes time and effort. Mm -hmm. So I need to build my future. I need to make it with music. I need to go up there where I can support myself mm. and yourself. So you don't think it's always a red flag? You're saying uh, no, I think if a guy says I'm not ready for a relationship, he's saying I don't want a relationship with you. Mm -hmm. I think that's with both parties, though. Yeah. I think that's with yeah. both parties. It's not a red flag. I don't think it's all the time, but sometimes, yes, but not all mm -hmm. the time. So I'll add like this. If a woman was to say that to me, it means one of two things. Mm -hmm. She's going through a healing phase, mm -hmm. or she could be potentially entertaining other parties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? That's what, that's and two that's two when you know are. how to see how you're going to move around. Yeah. That's right? two options. Because that's almost guaranteed what it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or I don't know what I want because you're you know, doing whatever you're doing with whatever guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys are not stupid. Vincent, you, you also just said that, like, you know, you've, like, people tend to look, like, where the grass is greener. Yeah. So you said that, like, you are busy with your career, with what you want and where you want to be. Mm -hmm. But if you met an amazing girl came along, like, you don't think that she could be integrated into this? Like, is, is that not you saying, no, I need to become better and then... The grass Find will be better. greener. Do you yeah. know? What I, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Well, no, because I'm not. Uh, well, I, again, this is personally, but me personally is I. I can't focus on a relationship in the sense that if me and you date, wouldn't you want to go out to meet you? Wouldn't you want to do little dates? Of mm -hmm. course. As of right now, I, I don't have time for little dates. That's why I don't go out with girls and like mm -hmm. go dinners left and right. I'm not looking for a relationship. If it comes, it comes. But I'm mm -hmm. not looking for one. Okay. I think when you date someone, you need to give them the time and effort, right? Mm -hmm. But if I'm busy with my music, wouldn't you be pissed off? <laughs> oh, babe, I'm, I'm, I'm finishing yeah. up a song right now. I can't go out tonight. Every yeah. single week. But that's where I think right? open communication has to be, though, yeah. right? I also just think if it's the right girl, you'll make time for her. Facts. You're not busy 24 hours a day. Like, yeah. there's time. There is time. But then that time... 
personally, that time I can put into my music. Yeah. Because family comes first. Mm-hmm. And me and you are not boyfriend and girlfriend. Just, we're just dating, going mm-hmm. out still. So if I have a little bit of time, I'm going to give it to my family. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, right? Because we're not married. You're not my mm-hmm. family yet. I, I give it to my little niece. I, if I have 30 minutes, I go and, and see my little niece and play mm-hmm. with her for 30 minutes. You know, I have more priorities, mm-hmm. obviously. I don't have the time to go and meet someone and... and Learn about them Mm -hmm. because I have other priorities. I hear what he's saying because I can speak to it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like when you work 40 hours a week and you put another 15 to 20 in content creation, podcasting, doing all of that stuff, you don't technically have the ability to date and people are going to want more of your time. Now, Mm -hmm. what I personally would do, it would be like this. If it came, Mm -hmm. I would then navigate to see, okay, what can we do here? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to shut off all the options just in case. You never know. Yeah. You don't know what the universe is bringing to you, but you, what you do is you slowly build into it and then you let them know, hey, like this is what's going on, this is what's mm-hmm. going on, this is going on. I'll give you an example. So I do a lot of solo dates by myself, right? There's mm-hmm. a guy saying this. And I went to go see, uh, what movie was it? It was uh, the new Twisters movie. Mm-hmm. Knew that I was going to go see the movie. Mm-hmm. The person that's just like, we're just getting to know each other, just warming up to yeah. each other. She's like, why don't you invite me? Why don't we go? I said, no, because I'm going by myself. Mm. And she felt offended by saying that. She's like, well, what do you mean? And I had to explain it to her. I'd be like, listen, I'm allowed to go do solo things by myself. Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. That's how you yeah. learn. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, we can go see a movie, go see another movie next mm-hmm. week if it comes down to it. But it's like, yeah. yo, like, whatever. It's your lo- Actually, yeah. I, I love the fact that you go to solo dates. Because have to. I, I, I never believed in this. Like, I thought people doing that was, were mm-hmm. crazy. <laughs> and then uh, I, I went to a restaurant by myself. Mm-hmm. It's... It's it's different, bro. It's, it's like you notice so many things, like not being on my phone, like just you look around and like it's it's great. I never done a movie though, like I don't definitely try. Gotta do a movie, do a movie for I sure, for sure. Movie. That's actually cool. Movie solo date. So when you guys hear this, what what comes up for you? I feel like the gears are turning. A solo date? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would go on one, oh, but yeah. I think I don't know. There's people that go on vacations by themselves. That's like next level. Have what? Uh, go on vacations by themselves. Oh, no, I couldn't do that. That's, that that can open up another, <laughs> that's another episode. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> that's would you not episode. do like solo dates? Um, I would do a solo date if I was like going to a restaurant and like going to sit at the bar by myself. Ladies do that. Yeah. I've had a couple guests say that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh? I feel like like women enjoy other people's other company people. a lot yeah. more than men maybe. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I don't like... I'm an introvert, so like I like I like my alone time as well. But like, I feel like I like my alone time, like in my room, like journaling yeah. or like listening to a podcast. Like that's why I consider my alone time. Yeah. But when I want to like go out go and like out. have dinner, like I want to do that with the girls. I want to do that. Yeah. Like I want to be dressed up. I want to take photos. Like mm-hmm. that's like so fun for a woman to do those things. And yeah. I, mm-hmm. I put a story on um, like I, <laughs> on my Snapchat, and Vincenzo replied. It was like like men will never understand like the getting ready process mm-hmm. for a girl, like how fun that is, yeah, yeah. and like how fun centuries. it is. Yeah, yeah, doing it with like your girlfriends or your sisters. That's the best part like, about going out, like getting ready. Yeah, that's like it's just so fun. So I just think that like men and women are different. You know what I think the Achilles heel to you guys are is there's the getting ready part, but then it's the outfit part. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I feel like that's your Achilles heel. That's why they take so long. Yeah, <laughs> that, be that's honest. it. Because if you've been in a committed relationship, you see the outfit, you're like, why are you changing up like 30 different outfits? <laughs> yeah. Like the hair done, yeah. the makeup's all done, it's but y'all outfit. can't it's pick the, the outfit. outfit. It's the outfit that takes an extra Do you choose hour. the future outfits while you try those outfits? Like, oh, maybe this one I'll wear next weekend uh, to last uh, birthday. I don't know. Would you do, like, do, like, you do that? An outfit what? for a girl, like at least for me, if I put on something and like, I'm like, whatever, I just threw it on. Like, I don't feel confident. Like, my whole day's ruined. Yeah. Like Isn't my that outfit? where your boys, that your guys, there to give you some some words of encouragement? Oh, okay, I'm just saying if like I'm single, oh, well. but yeah. I mean if I'm in a relationship, he better be gassing me up. So. <laughs> Damn Gassing. girl, you look good. <laughs> okay, not like that. <laughs> Damn, don't give me the ick while you do it. Let me put your Snapchat. It's going off. <laughs> no, not that. <laughs> oh um, my god. You know I have a I have a rule, and I made this like like a couple years ago. I've said to myself that is uh, if I go, um, if I say, Rory, tonight, let's go watch this movie. And then last minute you cancel me, I'm still going to go watch that movie. Mm. Oh, I do that all the time. Yeah. That's, that's my rule. Like, that that's time. the only way I'll go so dating. I'm not going to, like, I don't, I'm not there at the level where I'm like, oh, tomorrow I'm going to go watch this movie. You can't depend on people. You know what I mean? That's you what I mean. You can't depend on people. It just pissed me off. I was like, I'm going to go. 
and I'm going to watch this movie just because in my head, if I plan something, this is the way I am. And I'll keep it real. Yeah. I've been in relationships, and I know mm-hmm. because the theme or the genre of the movie is not her speed, mm-hmm. I'll still go by myself. Yeah. And she gets upset. <laughs> okay, that's... <laughs> She'll get upset, but well, why didn't you... Because you don't watch horror movies. I'll go watch the horror movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's fine. Because if you, I'm not going to put you on, on front I display... I think the girl just thing. wants... Us, she just wants you to in the invite. Yeah. She just wants you to go the extra way and be like, do you want to come with me? Because... From her perspective, she's thinking, okay, well, why would he not want me with me? Yeah. Like, why would you not want me to come? I know I just made the joke about money and blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, I would much rather enjoy my company than what we are doing. Yeah. I would rather go. We could eat fucking at Eastside Mario's. I don't care. The worst but restaurant. if I love you and like... Okay, I don't know about that one. I don't that's, know about that one either. Uh, you I think that's cat. Guys are different. I think that's not. Guys are different. It's not. It's not. It's not. Different. In a, you've been in a committed relationship. I'm not I'm saying, saying just because date. the food is horrible, Mario's... Uh, yeah, but I'm saying, what I'm saying I don't care. <laughs> that was the joke. Like, <laughs> we're saying... I'm saying in terms of love. Like if we want to take the relationship out of it also. Our nonno, he's Italian, but this man loves red lobster. Okay? I We don't like fish. She's allergic to fish. When we go, we eat a salad. <laughs> but for me, it's about being there with my nonno like and that. seeing that good he's company. so happy that like he eats 50 shrimp like, and it's just good company. Like These are moments that like I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. So basically what she's saying, like she'll that. go to the horror movie, but then we're going to have to go through the gauntlet of all the other stuff that they want to watch. All the chick flicks, <laughs> all the this, all the well, that. Yeah, all all these, give yeah, and take. If I can I know, watch I a horror movie, then you mm-hmm. come watch a chick flick with yeah, me. Yeah, it's fair. I think it's fair. Series of them. Yeah, yeah. That's what you have to do. I think it's uh, <laughs> it's it's important that when you're in a relationship, like you do what both like like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, like oh bro, my brother, like with his wife, they watch Tua to Endo, for example. <laughs> like and it's not like he interests him a lot, but actually <laughs> I, now I just go into it too. Like so That's funny. It worked out. But no, it's important to do what both. So you would go like a horror movie if you don't like horror movies? Yeah. yeah. If I was in to? a relationship with yeah. him. If it's a first date and I'm terrified of four movies and this guy's like, oh, I really want to go watch a scary movie. No, I'd be no. like, uh, make me Wait, you still want on the first date of the movie theater? No, I'm just, he just brought it up. So I'm just I going know that, but I'm just saying, but, but would you? No. A first date, probably not. No. no. no I don't the whole point is to get to know somebody. can't talk, what's the point? Yeah. No. You can sit there in silence? Well, you would do that when you were little, I guess. Yeah. that's the only way you would go. It was When we were teenagers? The whole hands. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to the movie. Share popcorn. AMC was a big... Right? Big theater. AMC. Throwbacks. That's funny. That person, like, did you ask her, like, before to go to our movies and she'll say no? So... It's getting to know each other's stage. So she'll probably watch this. Mm-hmm. She'll probably see it. So I personally don't think it's going to go anywhere. And I can confidently say that, mm-hmm. right? So at the same time, it's like, if we hang out, cool, we went to a movie before, but it's like, I don't want to go to another movie with you. I want to go see this movie by myself. Mm-hmm. You said you were going to go with your friends. Why are you trying to call it audible? You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Okay. But well, should we so going out with friends, though? But yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so then... You know what I mean? I don't think you can get mad. Though. You know what I mean? But that's why I feel like it's like, where's the psychological behind this? You need yeah. my, you need that much of my time. Do you think like that's like, let's say, I mean, you're dating and like mm-hmm. you say, oh, I'm going out with my sister and the girls tonight, uh, and I'm like, okay, and then I go to a movie by myself. Yeah. Would you no. be mad? By all means, go. So is that the case? Like, is mm-hmm. that what happened? Yeah. That's okay, that's, yeah, that's, that's a little weird. Yeah, yeah that's you know weird. I mean? yeah. Overcompulsive. Not also, yeah. I would never say to a man, why didn't you invite me? <coughs> yeah. Or why was I not there? Yeah, you'd just be mad at him and then he asks you 300,000 yeah. times what's wrong. You say nothing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. It's the problem. Right? Okay, are we, talking, are we quits, talking about you're in like, a relationship or you're not? And then when he, ta- when he stops, they go, can not I in a relationship. Because so. if it's my boyfriend and he's going to, like, let's say an event. I'm not saying like he's going on, I mean, a solo date, I think, would be a little whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, what, what, you can't, so you're saying men can't go on a solo date? You think if you're in a relationship? Why not? Depends. Like, if you're going I to the movies, sure. Weird. Like, okay, so I'm sitting at home, and you're like, I'm going to go to the movies. and If it's not something that you like. But I want to be there with you. I don't care if it's not, if I don't I'll like I'll close it. my eyes and hold your close hand. Close your eyes and hold the hand. <laughs> and I got to just do all the, the damage control after. <laughs> No, there's no damage control. There's more damage control if you leave her at home by herself. Yeah, she that's facts. Right. That's facts. She no, she'll okay. be pissed. Wow, you're independent. She'll be no, pissed. You're independent. You're independent. You're no, independent. I, okay, so I'm, I want to go to... Actually, no, you guys don't care. Never mind. No, 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 no I, I care. care. What are you saying? I don't care. No, men don't care. If I'm like, 
I want. I really wouldn't want to go watch this movie, but I want. Uh, I'm gonna go alone. You're gonna be like, yeah. Woo, thank God. It's your favorite movie. It's your favorite movie. You're chilling at home doing absolutely nothing. You just I said text that girls, you. You just said that girls don't like that. I text you and I say, I'm going to watch this movie and you've been dying to see this movie. And I say, no, nah, I'm going solo. <laughs> How y'all feeling? Well, you wouldn't because you just said that girls like to be in a group. I'm, I'm giving you a scenario. How yeah, are you, you feeling? Kinda, you kinda, I have a feeling. You kind of use your own I'm going to your favorite restaurant. All right, your uh-huh. favorite Italian restaurant. It? I don't fucking oh, know. Shit. What do you mean? <laughs> but I text you. I text you and I say, "What are you doing? Oh, you're. Oh, no, you're not doing nothing. Okay, I'm going to this restaurant by myself. By, by myself. Okay, but the, my How point are you is, feeling? I don't know because until now <laughs> I thought that girls don't like to go out alone. They don't. They, they don't. don't. Exactly. But I'm just but giving guys you do. a scenario. They don't care. They wouldn't care. They okay. wouldn't care in that scenario. No, no, I care to a degree. Yeah. Because that's like where me. compromising comes in. But I'm not going to put you in front line. Because I like horror movies. I like thriller movies. Yeah. yeah. I know how you guys react. You guys jump at the littlest things in the movie. We're so just girls. It'll be first 10 minutes in. <laughs> just a girl. We're literally three, just four girls. Times. And I'm like, So that's okay? what we want you to like hold our hand. I understand and that. Like, and you know? we, I do that. But Be it's like, I'm like, I'm like this. I'm like, you, you, you okay? <laughs> And like you're still frightened. Tell me when she goes away. <laughs> you know what I mean? You have so we ruin the experience. For ruin wow. the experience. Wow. Ruin no, the experience. I kind of like that sometimes when you feel like, like you protect the girl and she's scared. Like, oh, don't worry. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. But then isn't it wasted that you don't watch the movie? You come in and don't watch the movie? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, just, it's just a question. Like, I don't know. Bop popcorn for no reason. <laughs> you're simply sitting there just all jumping all over the place. I don't know about other girls, but I'm eating the popcorn. Yeah. The popcorn, yeah. popcorn <laughs> movie <laughs> at the movies is it's different. Extra butter layered. Yeah. Mom, mommy, it's amazing. I like the salt. The salt on like on the top. salt. Mom, but it's amazing. You don't want to add the favorite, the flavor salts or anything like that. I like, like dill this, pickle or anything the, like that. The vinegar. The vinegar. Not the oh, I love it. Mm. Yeah. The vinegar. Um, the there's like a when powder. Yeah, yeah. You ever had it? I'll do that. Where I don't really want one anymore. Time. When are you going solo next time? Whenever. Wow. Okay. He goes, comes get the solo date, one. doesn't eat popcorn. <laughs> he does or he doesn't? I have doesn't. water. That's kind of weird. A water. He brings his water. bag of candy. That's kind of weird. No popcorn? No, I don't eat popcorn anymore. <laughs> no? No. You got you to gotta sneak uh, snacks in. Yeah. He's got a bag of candy you, and you're do fine. You, do you sneak yeah, uh, we've done that makes before. Sense. Sometimes yeah. skinny pop. You're bad. Skinny pop? Yeah, skinny pop. What's skinny pop? <laughs> so it's like this healthy popcorn, healthy right? But popcorn. we're, we're trying to be popcorn. like, you know, we're going to work it. We want to go to the movies <laughs> and we want to be. Than- she has a Thanos hand, eh? I don't know. Do you see that? <laughs> what? Oh, what is that? You have a Thanos hand. <laughs> You know who Thanos is? Please yeah. tell me you know who Thanos uh, is. I have no idea. I mean, Marvel, Marvel. Yeah. Marvel. Yeah. yeah. I've never watched it. How's it called in Italian? Um, I don't know. We have to search that. You gotta help me with that. <laughs> <laughs> I have Italian friends. I don't, you know? But like, yeah, you didn't see that video when she. When I slapped. Buddy? No. The Sergio Talks guy? No. No, I, I, to, I saw clips of it. I didn't watch it also. I have to watch it all. She's no, no yeah, there's a clip of it. There's a clip of it. I am, clip. may I didn't watch that clip. Oh, okay. She like eased off the chair. She's like, are you sure? <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> He asked me to slap him. Oh, saying. yes, I did watch it. Yeah, <laughs> yes, 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 yeah, it was, yes. It's like, oh, it was <laughs> Okay, there we go, there we go. I remember. Yeah. So let me ask this question. Do y'all women know what men want? I think you want. I think men look for more of like an emotional, like someone who can support. What, what do you, are, are you talking as in like, what do men want in relationships? Do you know what men want in relationships? In relationships? Yeah. I think, I think they look a for a girl who can take care of them, like someone who's like take care of them. Yeah, they just define what that as means. in like like more of like the emotional side, like the support, like someone where they can come home to and she's there and you know, well I'm I'm gonna say it as in like more of like a traditional way, like dinner's ready, like that kind of vibe. So more of like a traditional view standpoint. Like well, I mean, I guess it depends on the guy. Yeah, I guess it depends on the guy. But like, I think that she's speaking on that because that's what, or I don't know, I won't speak for you, but I think that's what I would want to do for my man. Mm-hmm. Like, I think the more traditional way is in, like, the man provides and, like, the woman nurtures and, like, pe- stays in her feminine energy. And I know that's, like, a hot topic, too, of, like, woman being more masculine nowadays. Um, so I think a man wants a woman in her feminine energy there to support him and make him a better man. So you know, mm-hmm. women hear this now. They're going to hear what you say and they're going to be like, mm-hmm. 
Okay, she's not a feminist. Mm. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Yo, I love the energy. I love it. I love it. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> it's okay for women to be masculine. No, it's not. No, it's not. I like that. Damn. Ah, well, I think that's right. Like you, you stick to again, you stick to what you want. So that's yes. the, there's the guys that like the, the thing. masculine this is the girls. Thing. I don't care if you are, but I'm allowed to have my own opinion. I like that. You gotta speak me. up. Like. I respect that, that a lot. People get pressed by everything because it's so easy to leave a, a hate comment. It's so easy to give your opinion when I didn't fucking ask for it. So. No, that, she's right. Like in the comments, like you always see that one person that like just takes everything out of mm. context. Oh, so you're this, 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 and that. Yeah. Like, that's not even what I said. Like, are, you, are you the same way as her? She's no. not as outspoken about it and she never will be, but I think we have different opinions at times. Oh, that's, that's right. Like, like between you two sisters, you yeah. say? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's true. Me and my brother don't think the exact same things. No. Like, no I hear you. I hear you. It's like that. Mm. But I think it's like good that like you... I, re- I truly believe that like when you think of something, there's no right and wrong in certain ways in the sense that you should be able to speak up. If I don't like a woman that posts certain things, then I don't like it. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. sure. You think it's, it's okay. I, I think and it's not. And then don't date those type of women. There you go. Yeah. You don't, pull your if you don't down. like that... Don't go looking for it. Don't like her Instagram picture. Don't date women like that. Date the more conservative girl. Mm-hmm. I like then feminine, you won't have to change her. I like feminine women. Someone that acts really feminine, so I'm going to date someone that is feminine. Yeah. You can be masculine as much as you want. I'm going to date feminine. That's like, I'll never forget the story, like the pod that Ernesto put out where he was like talking about a first date and he like guides a, a woman yeah. out the door, like touching the back her back. And like, she's like, well, what are you doing? Like, to me, that's like, so, like, that's, that was a masculine, like, we, I would never react that way. Like, I thought, like, I think that's, like, very chivalrous of a man to do. You know what I mean? Like, I don't... And there's a lot you can add on to it from a, from a chemistry standpoint. Mm-hmm. Yeah. your hand on your back. Mm-hmm. It means it's like, you know, it can lead to other things. Yeah. It's a subtle way of flirting, ladies and gentlemen, that are <laughs> watching and listening. I think it comes down to the man. Like, when you're asking the question of what a guy wants. Like, for me, when I'm looking for a man... Certain things are important. I, I want a man that can make me laugh. Like, humor is a really strong thing for me that I, like, look for in a relationship. Someone who I can just vibe with. Like, we don't have to be doing anything, but we're sitting here and we're having fun. Like, just... So what does a man want, though? What, was a, what does just, a man want? Well, that's what he's asking us. Yeah, um, what he's asking, do, you, do you think you know? Do you like, think you know what men want? I mean, I gave my response. Yeah, you gave your response. Still waiting for yours. I gave my response. Did you? What do you mean? Okay. Did she give her response? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know. Can we go a little bit deeper in it? <laughs> a little bit. It's a teeny bit. I don't like, know. Okay, I feel like they're going to eventually think, spin the conversation to us. And, uh, I can't wait for that. What does yeah, a woman what want? Is, what does a woman want? No, what does a man want? You tell me. I'm, oh, I'm yeah, different with, I'm different from, I'm only going to give you my perspective. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, okay. guys are all going to have different Peace things. of mind. Peace hmm? of mind. Peace of mind. That's true. Peace of mind is one. For me, a woman that gives me peace of mind is like, mm-hmm. like you just took out 99.9% of the women out there. Because we know you guys are going to have like issues. You guys are going to come to us with, you know, conversations and figure things out, mm-hmm. which is, you know, I'm open to that. But it's just like the constant ongoing when it's like, are we going to be a, because I'm a problem solver. So can we solve this problem? I think right all now? men are, yeah. you, know you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, Problem solve this, and then what's the conclusion? What's mm-hmm. the results? You know, what's the step by step? Yeah. And I understand in some sentences, a lot of, a lot of women don't want the the necessary feedback right away. They just want to air out the problem, and then let it simmer, mm-hmm. and then have the, well, how can we figure this out? You know, yeah. it's a little value value gem for a lot of folks there. Women like to yap. We, we, yeah. we just want to talk. I don't mind that. <laughs> well, like, that like. I think like women like to put the, the, the problems out there. Like if they're struggling with something, they, mm-hmm. they voice it out there. Mm-hmm. And the, the guy tries to always solve it. But again, if it's every little thing, like that's what I mean by, by peace of mind is if the man, your man is going through something with work, mm-hmm. usual is work. Yeah. Then if you're there to support it in certain ways, not just mm-hmm. like be like, oh, it's okay, you'll figure out. Like, no, like, yeah. Yeah. okay, what can That's I help what you I with? That's what I was saying. I was saying, like, emotional yeah. support, yeah. like, yeah. being there for your man. But then there's those, those women that, like, like, give you even just hard times on it. Like, you're already mm-hmm. going through a hard time, and they just, like, 
oh, you're not Add giving us time. Like, yeah. like, like this is not the time right now for like you got to put away the the dating me and you and going out for dates and mm-hmm. go for movies because right now I have a company to run. Yeah. Certain things are going on. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I just think like, that that like boys into everything, like being mature, understanding like what you're getting yourself into. Like you said, yeah. you're super busy right now. I, if I'm dating somebody, like yes, I want them to be super successful and have everything going on for themselves. Mm-hmm. But I do want a man that has time for me. Like I want to be taken out, out on dates. I want to do these things, right? Like I feel like this is the time. If you're in a relationship now, like you do it now before the kids, before everything else comes along. So it's like recognizing that, like okay, I maybe I the guy that works. 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. isn't for me if that's okay, what I see, want fair, out of yeah. a relationship. Mm-hmm. Would you be okay if, like, it was always never a problem to go on dates, but then, like, you say, listen, for this three, four months, we can't go anywhere. Like, I need to do this, and this has to be done. Would you be okay to put pause on this? Yeah, I think that's dating? fine, but I think, again, so, like, for a woman, it's, it's the small things. Mm-hmm. If you're super busy with work, send her flowers. Do so you know it. how much that's she will fucking be on? You, you could not take me on a date... I'm saying we're in a committed relationship. For We've been dating for a while. You're, you have a lot going on with work right now. You're saying I can't take you here and there, blah, blah, blah. Send her flowers. I don't know. Do something. Plan mm-hmm. that surprises make, also, yeah. too. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I understand you're busy for three, four months, but, but you, you have show one day. You, care. you have one no, day sure. to yeah. do something. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I'm yeah. not saying take me on a, on a date every single week or it has mm-hmm. to be something extravagant. That's also, like, th- like men think we want to be taken on a date. Okay, yeah, extravagant dates are fun like who doesn't love them as a woman to be taken care of that way but like the small things like Mm -hmm. I don't know let's just sit on the couch and watch a movie together like let's make dinner together Mm -hmm. like it doesn't have to be like I don't consider a date like going out to do something they need need inspiration for when they cook you see (laughs) those people they be doing and stuff like that (laughs) shout out to you though I like that I like that they're learning (laughs) yes (laughs) she's like yo I'm gonna come over there and just (laughs) Back end. <laughs> Give yeah, me a back right end. end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I forget where we were going. No, with it's this. fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So you guys are going to ask us the question? What do men want? Are you going to tell us? What do men want? What do men want? Or, or do you answer? What do, you, you what do women really? want? What, what do, do women want? What do, what do women want? What do women want? Yeah. I'm trying to see how I want to answer this question. <laughs> I just want to take out from my brain. <laughs> Have the ability to provide a safe space. So okay. that's emotional intelligence, mm-hmm. right? Someone that's sure with where they're going, a leader, right? And someone that's just going to plan things, you know? Mm-hmm. Take initiative. I think those are big ones. I'm not going to preach on a Sunday, though, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Long weekend. <laughs> what Vincenzo? It? It's so hard to answer this question because there's so many types out there what girls want, like... Mm-hmm. I swear to God, like, I'm so confused what women want in certain <laughs> aspects because there's the one that says they want, like, girls want to be independent mm-hmm. and they don't want a man to tell her what to do, what not to do, mm-hmm. and uh, I can do whatever I want. Then there's the woman that I say I want the alpha male mm-hmm. and I want him to kind of guide me. I just think there has to be, like, again, I can't, I can't really answer the question in a certain mm-hmm. way because there's so many types of girls mm-hmm. out yeah, there. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And I've yeah. also met, like, so many girls out there that, like, they all have different aspects of, 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 of life. Mm-hmm. But I think they definitely want somebody that guides them. Yeah. yeah. Because I go back to sure. nature and I think women, they might deny it, but they want someone that guides them, tells them what to do in the sense like, let's do this. Like, let's go out here. Let's go out there. Be ready mm-hmm. at five. Yeah. I think like girls majorly, I think it's this what they want. They yeah. want someone yeah. to, Girls. Be that male figure, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Did and the girl yeah. follows. Yeah. I mean, I can only speak for myself, but like, mm. for, I, like with a man, like I, I want to be able to close my eyes and wherever you're gonna lead me, we're yeah, gonna be I safe, like, provided, and protected. Yeah. Like you got, you got it under control. So no mm-hmm. bungee jumping. <laughs> I was. No, uh, we can do a bungee. We can jump out of a plane. I was um, noticing. Uh, I was noticing. Like I like to notice when I go out. Like I, I admire, like I look at little details. I like mm-hmm. to do that, right? That's why sometimes I focus out because I'm just thinking about, like, my, yeah, my, my <laughs> ring goes like 100,000 <laughs> kilometers an hour. But I've noticed like if you see, it's you, you always see the man driving, for example, and the girl in passenger seat. Mm-hmm. And the people are going to be like, passenger oh, but princess, I see. Of course. Yeah, but I see so many, I drive for my boyfriend. Sure. 
but like majorly, you see like the guy always guiding, like yeah. like a family man, the man of the house always goes and yeah. and like you know As you should, yeah, no. protects the family. The Can man I of ask the house. Drive? What happens if you live in a bigger city though, like a big city like where we're in right now? For with, what? With what? Like say driving and things like that. Well, would you would you date somebody with a vehicle? If with, you're like if with? you're in a big city like New York or like say for instance maybe Miami, yeah, things like that, right? Depending on where you live. Yeah. Date somebody with, with a vehicle? vehicle? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, like do you, why, why would he have, not? Is that a requirement in like a bigger city? That's that what he I mean. has a car. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, I mean, I, don't know. I guess it depends. Yeah. Like, How old are you? That that's a good. That's like a. That's <laughs> thirty years old. No car. Thirty. And no car. Because the, it, it, <laughs> the no thing car? is, it depends, <laughs> no though, because it depends on what city you're in. Yeah, because yeah, in right? New York, yeah. you can drive. Apparently. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't, if you have a private driver, all right. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thing, too. That's a thing, too. A lot of people good with money. Like, they have drivers. Yeah, they don't yeah. drive. They yeah. never drive yeah. their car at all. I wouldn't like that. I can have all the money in the world. Have a driver. I need to drive. Mm. It's like, what happens if we're in the traffic jam and it's late? <laughs> You know what I mean? Child, you I could have got there before. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Do you know the, the coordinates to get there? Do you know how to it's go left and right? You know what I mean? Traffic? You know how back roads, back streets? <laughs> like, come on now. No, Wade says I have to go right? straight. <laughs> I even like, I, I, I like, I don't, I don't think, I think we disagree on this, but I like when a man would like order for me, like at a restaurant. Like if he ordered for you. Is that the bare minimum as well? Uh, <laughs> Elaborate on that because it's like like some women don't like to be like like I don't know like like if he like we're at a new restaurant whatever he's been before I haven't um, and he's like oh like can I order for you like, I would go for it yeah like I think it's like, like I are like you it. saying as in like he's asking you like do you like this stuff and he's gonna order it no he's, he's just, just gonna, gonna take order. the lead and order but that can get you said you guys didn't like fish right. Okay. No, 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 no. I listen. I listen. I listen, right? No, I would be sure to like say like like we don't eat beef either. So Have I would let him know. Where a man wait, has been like, let beef? me order for you. Wait, hold on. Time out. No, no, Never. no, no. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait time out. Y'all don't eat beef. No. Y'all don't eat steak. No. no. What's the reason behind that? I'm not really a fan of it. The reason we it's not a fan. Yeah, we went vegetarian like. 10 years ago for a bit, like, with Wait, our mom. Did you tell me this before? I think so. And y'all then... Y'all need, y'all need I still have to no. surprise, though. Yeah. No, we don't. You never been to, like, Ruth like, Chris? No. no. No? Are you guys open to it? What happens if you're, okay, you're a your guy that you're dating? Mm-hmm. And says, I okay. would have it here and there. Like, I'm not, like... Okay. Yeah, it's not like we would never... A vegan or, like, oh, one okay. of those. Yeah. Like, no. checking. Just, like, if I'm going to order for myself, I probably wouldn't eat it. Would you have If he asked me to orders? try a piece of his, sure. So what if he orders for you and then he orders meat? Well, that's what I'm saying. If he like, if we were at like, if somebody says like, let's go on a date and he gives me the a steak restaurant, I'm like, well, I well, don't you don't really know where you're beef. going. What if he says uh, I'll pick you up, be ready at seven p.m., dress nicely, black dra- dress. Or I'm sending so. you. I'm sending an Uber for you, man. Yeah. I don't know. And See, you that's just what I'm saying. Just find yourself a, like Copacabana. Because I'm looking at the perspective now of the audience where it's like it can get very tricky, because it's like. How am I going to order for you if I don't really know what it is you I think, like, eat? that that would come in hand, like, if, like, I'm in a relationship with you. Like, I don't think if I'm on a first date, and I would never be like, you can order for me. Or, like, I wouldn't expect the guy to be like, I'll order for you. I don't, I, I don't expect you. it. I'm just saying if he did it, like, I wouldn't be mad about it. Some, like, women are pressed about it. Like, they would never want a man to do that. I mean, it just depends. I mean, if he orders me a fucking salad, then I'd be pressed about it. <laughs> That'd be kind of disrespectful. Yeah, I might kind of like, why you? What do you think I want a salad for? Yeah, you calling me fat? Yeah, right. <laughs> there you go. Interesting. But, um, I have yeah. a question. Do you like when, let's say, you're you're out mm-hmm. and a guy comes up to you? Yeah. And just talks to you. Yeah. Like, what are your first like thought? Would you say, "Oh, this guy's weird"? No. Come up to me. Being it just depends on being, the scenario yes. and if. If you a find guy the guy attractive, attractive or not. That is it, if, point blank. If, if I find you, he's weird. Yes. If I find you unattractive <laughs> yes. and you come up to me and you start talking to me, I'm like, okay. Love it. Love it, but it okay, is, bye. That interaction with somebody is solely based yeah, off, off of, of their their attraction. Yeah. That, I'm sorry. And anybody that says so anything else. Thing? I, like initially, for me, at least 100%, yes. Why well, is the first thing you see, I guess? It's so. the first thing I notice, yeah. yeah. What's the first thing you notice? The fit, his, your oh. hair. Everything. Shoes. I don't know. 
Just you just look at the person like, as just a Just look whole, at the person as yeah. But like, would you be rude if they're just on a? No, I would no. never be rude. I know some girls are definitely yeah. they take it maybe a little too far and, yeah. and can be like, okay, don't talk to me, which that's fucking. I rude. will be rude if I he would never like, be that. If the guy that I don't find attractive says something like. I don't like, like hitting on you and like if he makes weird comments, way, then yeah, then I'm gonna, gonna be like, buddy, like, leave bye. me alone. Do you like if the guy flirts with you right away or just talks about normal things like life, like oh, how are like uh, what do you do? Mm. Like what do you like better? Or you like uh, or do you like when they say oh, you know you're. I think hi, a, you're a little beautiful. compliment is like cute to start, and yeah. then like trying to like get them. Especially to thing if like person. you're at like a club bar, it's like we're not gonna have a conversation yeah. right now. And it's like oh, even okay. Oh, oh, oh. Yesterday I went out with my other guys coming. No, like, but it's, first of all, it's just loud. Like for me, like the yeah. if I was at a club and like a guy wanted to like talk, he thought I was pretty, whatever. Come up, say hey, can I buy you a drink? I think you're beautiful, whatever. We go to the bar, we have a drink. But like beyond that, what are we gonna do? It's, yeah. it's either my I'm coming home with you, or it. you like everybody knows oh, what's I gonna can take happen. You from your friends, and we can have a conversation. We can chop it up. Yeah, I know, but again, like I'm with my friends. Like, I'm I'm with my friends. I can take yeah. ten minutes of your time. They're, your friends are always gonna be your friends. Yeah. <laughs> why ruin the Why ruin the Why ruin the moment? Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not saying like okay, ten minutes, sure, but like so beyond that, me, get my number and then say I'll message, message you the tomorrow. Next thing. I'd love to take you out. Number or Instagram. Number. number. Like the yeah. Okay, and if yeah. a girl, if you ask for a girl's number and she says, "I'll give you my Instagram," she doesn't like you. She doesn't like you. Yeah. Yeah. They usually say like, and "Oh, I don't give my number I, out." Like yeah. seventeen you know times. That's a lie. Oh, okay. It's a lie. Oh, it's a lie. Oh, it's like, no, you know what I say? Like, oh, go go. Sorry. You can go. No. I'm saying <laughs> like yesterday. I'm out with my best friend. We're sitting at the bar. Two guys come up to us. They're not attractive. We don't find them attractive. They start talking to us. I'm like, okay, like I'm not gonna entertain you. I turn them, I, I talk, obviously, I answer their questions, and I say, we're having a girls' night, but nice to meet you. There you go. There's your time to turn around and walk away. I just she gave you, she ruthless, eh? I just gave you the fucking bye-bye card, right? But what no, happens, but no, what happens they if stand that, was, there. that could have been a potential, like, a potential guy that you could have? I don't like, no, I, what do you mean potential? You I don't, I, he started talking to me, I, there's no attraction, I don't like you. That's okay, it. Okay. That's it. Okay. He still stood there. So talking to me. Said, Still stood there talking to me. Oh, Buddy, get the vibe and go. I said politely, I'm having a girl's night. Nice chatting with you. I turn my body and <laughs> you're still there. So that's when it, it could be a little much for a girl and be like, okay, yeah, like, leave me leave alone. Me alone. Well, like, I guess, do yeah, not get the hint. The clue up and yeah. Like, yeah. So I think there's certain scenarios. But yeah, but I just think it, like approaching it is somebody like based that off of attraction in public at first. is just based and off I'm, of attraction. I'm not saying you need to be the most attractive guy ever no, to talk to no. me because that's not the case at all. It's how you carry yourself, how you approach me and just so how would you how want? your overall like presence is. Do so you like assertiveness? Yeah, like when a guy is like confident and comes up to you and yeah. knows what he wants. Do you like when um they just talk to you in mm -hmm. general like 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 stuff or do you like when they say you know what? You're very beautiful like I just like, would you like to go on a drink with me? Would you like that Honestly, better? Honestly, either's fine. Yeah, yeah um, fine. I'm trying to think of what I would prefer, but like, I think either, to be honest. Like, for example, like if you're saying like solo dates, like that's completely different, I think, from like more of like a club bar scene. Like, if I'm sitting there by myself, yeah, and like he comes up, he's like, oh, I thought you were really pretty, whatever. Like, can I pull up a seat beside you? Like, I'd love to get to know you. And like, sure. Like, if I thought initially, like off the bat, like, he was a good-looking guy. Like, yeah, like, mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like a solo date, that's kind of, like, what you're hoping for for a girl, like, that somebody will, yeah. like, come up and say hi. Um, I mean, it depends. So, yeah, like, the, then they're, like, start a conversation, like, yeah. is, is it a bother for you if, like, this just you just start talking for, like, 10, 15 minutes? Is it you what? You think it's too long? Like, no. It's too long, even if you think Again, it's a Again, it, Vincenzo, it depends on the guy. Like, if I'm really attracted to the guy right away and he's, like, we're in, we're having good conversation but you're and with your we're friends, enjoying remember. it. So like, let's see you with your oh, friends. Oh, with my friends. Well, yeah, you're with your friends. He just saw you. He's with his Again, friends. Again, yeah. And he comes up to you. How long is too long? I think long? it's ten. I think ten fifteen. Yeah. Beyond that, because okay. it's this is what I mean. Like what? What? How? How, how, much, how deep talk? are we gonna get to know each other right now in the club? Like you know what I mean? Like it can only go to a certain extent. Like mm -hmm. you tell me what you do for work. I tell you okay, like yeah, whatever yeah. here and there. Like I think keeping it short is yeah. like and then plan a date. Can I get your number? I know you're with your friends. I don't want to take you away for too long, but that. can I get your number? Exactly. I'd love to see you when you're free this week. Do you feel That's embarrassed perfect. when he asks you for the number from your friend? 
No. no. What do you mean? No, not embarrassed. No. I'm yeah. doing for the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Always looking <down. laughs> No, my philosophy is just have the conversation, right? Just have the conversation. Yeah. 10 minutes, whatever. Oh, well, I think yeah. approaching is Because I don't way better do the than whole, DM. I don't, like, you go out places, right, and people are like, oh, what do you do for work? I don't really want to get into all of that. Mm-hmm. I was like, let's save that for the date type of thing. It's like, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. who are you? Mm-hmm. you know, are you here from the city? What's going on? You know what I mean? Find yeah. the vibe. Keeping it short. You know what I mean? Nothing crazy. And if she's about it, she's about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I agree. For sure. Yeah. I feel like you have something more to say. You got no, something no, cooking up in there. No, that was okay, it. Fair. I think it's. I mean, I would also approach a guy. Also, yeah. Like, really? Also, yeah. 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 Oh, can we speak about that? Do you think yeah. more women should shoot their shot? Yeah. I, asked this to I another, shot my shot. I asked this to another last area. night. Me and my friend went to a bar. We were ordered some drinks. He gave us the first round free. Whatever. We bought our second round. Went to the thing. Mm-hmm. He was looking at me. I was looking at him. I went back up to the bar and asked for his Instagram before I left. Yeah. Okay, but you got your drink first. Well, he was the bartender. He should yeah. Why did you ask him for his Instagram? Why did I ask him for his Instagram? Yeah. Because I think sometimes... When, for a girl, I like to like see... It's, I feel yeah. like you can catch a guy's vibe from his Instagram. Yeah. So if I don't know you... Social status. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree status. with that. I mean, maybe partially, yeah. But if I don't know you, like... I, I don't know. I want to see like Get more the, about your life yeah. before yeah. I go on a date with you. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess social status is included in that. Yeah. I feel like that's for men, too. Mm-hmm. No? You don't care about a girl's social press? I guess, yeah. That's why I ask no. for numbers, though. Like, numbers. like, people say, oh, no, I don't give... Like, some girls actually think that, like, giving the numbers out is too, is too private. When, in my opinion, when you give an Instagram out, that's more private. You know where you go, you know who you're friends with, you know uh, what places you've been to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Number? I don't know. I mean, if it's a public Instagram, then everyone then knows everyone that. Knows that. I, think, I think sometimes at times, but I think phone numbers can Instagram be a little yeah. personal. Yeah. Yeah. But girls don't, let's say. But even if, you do, even yeah. if it's private, if I follow you because I, I, I came up to you and you give me your Instagram and you accept my follow, I will believe, right? Yeah. If you accept my follow, I know everything about you. When if you just give me your number, you could just choose not to answer. <laughs> it's not that private. You know what I mean? Like, like I think number. That's why I like to ask for numbers. I don't know who you are. You know who I am. You base it off my vibes, mm-hmm. and not because you just think I'm weird, just because I made a, a post. You know what I mean? I think like that's why I don't like social media. And the other thing about numbers too, you never know. Like, it may not even turn out to be where you guys would vibe and date. It but could bro, even be like, a networking connection. You know what I mean? But it's also like yeah. like <laughs> girls and guys. Like they base it off who, how many you following, and how many followers you have. Well, I don't. Honest. I don't care about following. But some of the, yeah. some people do, right? If no, you I see would a not gu- even look if at you that. see a guy or a girl following <laughs> five thousand people, but only eighty five follow them, then it's just a social thing. Mm-hmm. Let's say, oh, this person is weird. Yeah. When it might not even be true. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like just I mean, that's why I don't like. You put yourself in that situation, though. As yeah. a man, you know that's weird. No, I'm, I don't think yeah. it's weird at all. Like, I, I'm, like following I, five thousand people and only ninety five follow you what, back. What do you, yeah, who are you but, following? But do you know the person? You just do going who, through who, social what media. What kind of people are you following? You just said you get to know everything about a person through their social. That's media. That's why I don't agree with social media, <laughs> in the sense of like I was talking about like more private because people say I don't want to give my phone because it's too private, so I give yeah. you my Instagram. That's like uh, a separate no. conversation. I'm just saying yeah. social media. I don't like social media because you judge people. You're judging someone based on how many people you're following. But you yeah. don't even know the person. Oh, yes and no. Know. Yes and no. No, you don't yeah. think so? No, no, because I look at social media differently. How do you look at social media? For networking purposes only. No, but we're talking about meeting yeah. someone. Meeting, so... So you're judging someone based so on... So you can you meet somebody on Instagram, but it's, again, like I said in the first part of the conversation, it's like, how do you approach the situation without being and coming across too creepy, per se? Mm-hmm. Because just randomly sliding in somebody's DM can be like it for you. You know what yeah, I mean? Because yeah, yeah. people just get weird. Because I had that on a dating app experience, right? Mm-hmm. So I said to the girl, are you a friend's first type of person? This is a little test yeah. on a dating app. And what she did, she basically screenshot my account, because they were real time creeping, and put it on, I think, are we dating the same guy? Because then somebody came out on my DM was like, yo, there random. Is that? Oh, yeah. What? Ra- random guy, random, random guy came and was like, yo, this girl's like, Rashing you online. I go, what do you mean? And he goes, yo, just pointing it out to you. So she was like, he asked me if I'm a friend's first type of person, a whole bunch of this. And I was like, okay, whatever. What yeah, the they do that fuck? shit. Man. Trust me, they do that stuff. It's corny. 
I was thinking for a girl, like, I ask for his Instagram because if I ask for his number, then I have to text him first. Yeah. I already, sh- I already shot my not ne- shot. Not necessarily. And, and unless we're exchanging back Because you got to drop your name, like, hey, this is such and such, and then bam. It's I his guess. choice no, to respond back. So, uh, yeah. yeah. I think it's fine. I like when girls text first. <laughs> I love it. I'm weird. No, I think that yeah. shows initiative, I'm, I'm, though. And I think we're in a different day and age where I think more women should put their best foot forward. You know yeah, what I mean? I think so too. If you see something that you like, have the conversation. Be yeah. open, be honest. Like, hey, I find you this, this, this. Yeah, yeah. Find a fun that. fact, you know what I mean? Pull something from Instagram if it comes down to it. Yeah. You know? Because you guys are always creeping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sherlock, like, you know, they're always playing Sherlock Holmes we, out yeah, here. Yeah, we become FBI yeah. agents real quick. Very quick. Yeah. I mean, Very yeah, quick. you guys do your creeping too. Not to the Not extent, extent that we do it. Uh, extent, to a degree, it depends. Yeah. Wait, so do guys actually creep the Instagram? Like, would you guys go through, like, following and, like, be like, oh, new follower? That I don't do. No. I can't give like, that secret like, yet. You know Instagram, like, organizes it as, like, new followers not now. Not everyone, though. Eh? Like, I can't. Not everyone. It's That's true. not what I look yeah. for. That's not, not what I look for. I don't for. know why. Some people That's can, some people for. can. Some people can't. Don't uh, have the thing. Yeah, that um, I don't care. Like, I don't care what you're, like, yeah. who you're following. That's not what I look for. I look for. I look to see what stands out. What's common? Yeah, yeah. Are you in a relationship? Hmm. What's background looking like? So, what does right? your like investigating look like? What, what would you I do? What would you do to? <laughs> what would you do, what Vincenzo? You know, you know how many things like, if you're stalking asked? like my like an Instagram, your girls, the girls' Instagram. What are you like? What are you doing? What are the red flags? What are the green fa- flags that you see? Like for uh, for, yeah, a girl, yeah, for a girl, let me, let me for a this. girl, we're looking at how multiple, many how many girls are you following? Multiple different trips. In like. Rotation. Oh. Because that will tell me everything I need to know. Wait, what? Multiple different trips. Different trips, Multiple like different vacations? Trips. vacations? Okay, so our there. friend said to us, we within the span of a month, went to Miami, Las business. Vegas, and LA. And La- yeah. Business, business, business. Okay. All right, but if you didn't know I mean, know if you us, looked at our thing, you, you wouldn't know, look you follow business. Us. You know that, like, that's why we went. It wouldn't look business, It was a networking business, thing. Yeah. Like, and I think it comes down, you can just tell. You can tell. Okay. I guess. You can tell when you're like, are you there with yourself, by yourself? Yeah. Or are you there with your group of friends? Yeah. Okay. What do, right? what do us girls look at? We look at... Um, social status. Yeah. Wait, what? Social what status. What do you mean by like no, that? What do you mean by like, social status? Me- like, I don't... He knows Drake. He oh, has no. a picture of Drake. Oh, no. no. I could care less <laughs> like, about I could, that. I would fully date somebody that like with doesn't five, post on Instagram, 500 followers, has yeah. 500 followers. But it's like... If this is what I, if you're gonna be inactive on Instagram with your own account, then you better be inactive on Instagram. Like, don't be following two thousand girls that don't follow you back. Yeah. So do you all watch? <laughs> this is funny. She just said that. Do you guys watch the following count? Yes. With a guy that you're like talking to and, and dating and stuff. Yes. I mean, sometimes, sometimes. it depends. If I if I really if mm, mm, I don't know. Yes. No, if wake it up. Let's does. have the conversation. One hundred percent. Because what we were saying is that when. It's like if you go, if they have a public account, I don't know, it doesn't only works with certain people, but and you click their following, it will show you after all your mutuals, it will show you um, n- all the new people they've recently followed. So if he says, Oh, I'm going out with oh, for a tonight. boys' night, and he goes and he out, follows five new then girls. the next morning, you can go and see if he's followed if, like new people. He followed from that five night new out. bitches. Okay. So I'm there, a, I'm that a, I'm a play, I'm a play proves to me that you went out here. to a girl and asked for her Instagram. What yeah. if. It was like a networking, networking is situation. different. Well, but I guess it would depend on the man that yeah. you're talking to. Because yeah. again, if you're active on social media, sure. Does she have yeah. a blue check mark? Sure. Yeah, but everybody has a blue check mark now. Okay, yeah, but just like networking situation <laughs> is just gotta go 20. <laughs> Literally twenty dollars a month. He said it's not verified. They don't have no publication online. That's crazy. <laughs> when we're like when checking the following list. If yeah. you're say you're saying it was networking, like sure, it like, depends on what your job is. No, it makes Fine. sense. Fine, makes sense. But like, if we're dating and like, I'm like, oh, like who, like what networking opportunity is this girl giving you? You mm. and you can't give me a straight answer. Yeah. Then there's a problem. <laughs> what else? Do we I look? feel oh. like she puts guys under the fucking fire when she's ready. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> this chestnuts roasting on an open fire. <laughs> she puts them in their place. Puts them on yeah. the grill like I this. Need and to be she's more just like spinning <laughs> She's like. <laughs> 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 Yes? I know what I want. Yes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can tell. You can tell. She's, she's, uh, For sure. <laughs> Drita. <laughs> Straight. That's what he said. Before we get out of here, <laughs> I want to do this circle. Everybody have an answer for this. Oh, God. Oh, God. What's one thing uh-huh. you'd want to change about dating right now? Change? That you'd change within dating right now. One thing that you'd love to change about dating. Hmm. As in... Uh, 
Like just dating Elaborate in general? Elaborate in what sense? Like, like say, for instance, like a, a red flag that you see in the early stages. If there's something you could eliminate from the dating pool, right? Who's going first? I think first. maybe, maybe having... First. Oh, sorry. I'll go first. Okay. So for me, it would be not being upfront. Mm. Not being upfront with your I intentions. Like that. from oh, the, that's from what the I was going to say. Go from the get go. Like I mean, uh-huh. upfront. Mm-hmm. We're gonna sit here. We're gonna meet. We have a conversation. If you date another people, I would rather have you say that. Yeah. Yeah. Before then finding out, like I was gonna weeks say down the that. road or months down the road. Having no that conversation first. A lot of women do that though, and I'm sure a lot of men. Do men that, do that too. Yeah. Because I've. That's how I say about the whole Instagram thing. You can catch on things. Yeah, I'm not yeah, saying yeah. I need to hawk it, but you can just one scroll. On your main page, I can see exactly what's going on. Yeah. Figure it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would agree with that. I would say, like, having the conversation first, like, within, like, the first early stages. That way, there isn't all this confusion when you are talking to this guy for four or five months and it's, like, yeah. what's going on? You're not sure if they're seeing other people, but you're not sure if you should continue seeing other people. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I agree with that. I think also just, like, like, I wish people would, like, not be so scared of rejection. Mm. Like, it is what it is. You know, mm. this is why people, like, you go on a date and you're, like, like, you keep people on because, like, okay, well, he didn't respond to me, so I'll go message him. I know he'll give me the validation I need. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm not saying me because I don't care about your opinion. I think that's you don't, very clear. You that don't I, I think I've made that very you clear. Don't. Not your opinion. I'm just saying <laughs> <In general>. people's <laughs> opinions. <laughs> Not your opinion. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, brother. I love it. I love it. <laughs> but yeah, people are just scared of rejection. Like, and yeah. I think that just causes so many insecurities. And yeah. that's a, I just think people being insecure is just a problem with dating yeah. in general. I also think a big one is matching like your actions and words. I think guys, well, I'm, I'm just saying guys because we're t- I'm a we're girl, girls. whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's um, what it is. <laughs> right off the I bat, know. like in the beginning stages, guys will say things and like, you just trust them right away. It's, like, easy easy trusting them. I think that. Like, I think trust is something you should have to build with a partner and that you shouldn't give off right away. And that, yeah, like, just... I when they question. say, like, little things, then, like, never do it. They say with trust with a woman and a, and a man. So, like, is it... I might be getting this wrong, but a man... Yeah, a man, it's like my, you're, if we got into a relationship, like my trust starts at zero and like, or we're talking and you I have to build that up to get mm-hmm. to 100. Like I have to prove mm-hmm. to you that you can trust For guys. me. Or with a woman, we start at if 100. I like you, my trust is already Ready at 100%. Here, yeah. And the more things that you do that I, like lead me, that I shouldn't trust you, like it goes it gets down. Lower. Does that make sense? Do you know what I'm talking about? So like, I know what you mean. I know what okay. you mean. Do you think that's true? You think that's true? Does our trust start at zero for you guys? I think it should start at zero. Yeah, like I think women I think need women to like rethink that a little also. bit. <laughs> so here's how I'll answer that. I feel like when people get in relationships, they don't start with the glass empty. They're coming in with a half full glass. Okay. So that can be based off of trust. Mm. And I feel like, I'm going to speak from a man's point of view, I think some women come in with baggage that they haven't healed from. Okay. But that can be on everything, okay. whatever, yeah, yeah. right? Um, that's not saying you're on some spiritual journey or whatever. And I also think that if you start with the glass empty or the slate clean, you don't run into those issues, mm. right? Yeah. You don't run into any that's issues. Fair. Yeah. 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 I like that. So I agree with what you're saying. Yeah, I don't think, um, I don't think it starts from, at least for me, a hundred or zero. I think it's like a little bit of trust you need to give. Because mm. like, it's just fair. Like you just, you, you can't let somebody else pay for somebody else's mistake. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That's that's what I believe. Yeah. Just because somebody else did me dirty doesn't mean you're gonna do me dirty. Mm-hmm. So I gotta give you a little bit of benefit of the doubt, mm-hmm. not hundred percent, because you have to build that trust. Yeah. Well, everybody, go around, plug your social media. Where can everybody check you out? And what exciting things you got going on? <laughs> Ladies first. All right. Well. Well. Our Instagram's Smiley over here, right? the girls next, <laughs> next door. door. Um, what pod did we just drop? We're about to drop the one that we yeah. kind of talked about today. Yeah. It's about hookup so culture. So by the time, by the time so that that comes out. It'll be out already. Yes, you should go yeah. watch it. Yeah. yeah, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We just hit 1,000 subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we also have a giveaway going on. So Yeah. Join that. Some away. new merch. Merch. Yeah. Is the merch here? 
No. no. Uh, but, but yeah. Yeah. Our our favorite phrase, we're literally just a girl, is on all the t-shirts. So. Yeah, I can't and future milk. That, that's a thing. Because <laughs> well, I want to support the merch. No, we're, we're, we're coming, coming out with, with guys men. ones. We want I'm just to. A boy. Yeah. <laughs> future <laughs> dilf soon. Yeah. <laughs> Do you hear this one? Future you dilfs? hear this one? I need yeah. to have a baby down <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy. We'll make sure to ship you guys sweaters. Yeah. Ship? Okay. Sounds yeah. good. I'm always in the city, so I'll just I want pink. leave it here. So we'll leave it here. here. You want pink? Pink. All right, bet. Perfect. Fair. I can run. Perfect. Pink. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. We're matching or? <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> do pink and pink. Yeah? Let's go. <laughs> You're going to plug your socials now, my guy? Yes, sir. <laughs> you can find me on Instagram, official YCV. You can check out my music on uh, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music. TikTok is YCV underscore 19 underscore. And YouTube, YCV 19. Let's go. Let's go. And we out. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Rory. For sure.